Now, maximum city trying to operate in maximum hours. So what exactly is the formula on your screen right now? So Mumbai, the government order is that on the starting 27th of January, malls, movie theatres, shops and restaurants can stay open all night from the 27th of January. That's the, that's, that's the order. It is not mandatory, and this everyone must know, it is not mandatory. Businesses can stay open if they think that they will benefit, otherwise they can shut. Because there are many, many business houses or many shops who just don't think that it makes commercial sense to stay up all night or stay open all night. In the first phase, shops, eateries, theatres in non-residential areas will be allowed to stay open. That is the first phase. Food trucks have been allowed in the Bandra Kurla complex and Nariman Point, monitored for waste as well as noise. And excise rules have remained unchanged. Pubs and bars will close as usual at 1.30 a.m. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the, is the order. That is what is going to happen in Mumbai starting 27th of January. What is the rule now? Well, the rule at this moment is that all stores are required to shut by 10 p.m. That's the, that's the rule in the city, in most cities, in fact. Restaurants, however, have to shut by 1.30 a.m. That's the rule as of this moment. Now, why was this not done before? A lot of people uh, were, were asking this question. Well, the Shiv Sena mooted this concept in 2013. They were not in power then, but they mooted this concept in 2013. January 2018, the state government amended Shops and Establishments Act to allow alcohol to be served all night. The police department raised certain security concerns, and this is extremely important, and the issue was sent to the Home Ministry. So it was sent to the Home Ministry. No movement has taken place on this since 2018 until now. At that moment, if you recall, it was a government of the BJP supported by the Shiv Sena. So no movement actually took place now. Now who benefits, ladies and gentlemen? From this move, who actually benefits? People on night shifts, tourists, all of them can eat, shop, watch movies late. So it makes sense for them that the city will be open. Aditya Thakre was quoted as saying that this will be less stress on cops who won't have to check if restaurants are shut in time. So there'll be a rule that they can stay open so they don't have to go through this, this physical check or patrolling to see who is shut and who is not. And the government also feels that this is going to generate more jobs in the state and hopefully create more revenue, thus benefiting the economy. Now, the economics of staying up late, it is a boost for revenue, more spending, more jobs, as we just discussed. Uh, Aditya Thakre, he says that London's night economy is worth five billion pounds. So, uh, if Mumbai can replicate, good for Mumbai, it will add to the uh, state treasury. But who's unhappy? There's some who are unhappy also. BJP MLA Ashish Shelar says nightlife will kill life in Mumbai. That is his view. BJP MLA Ram Kadam says the future of youth will be affected. Not This is not Indian culture. BJP leader Raj Purohit says it will increase cases of rape as if rapes don't happen during the daytime. So we'll have to understand and ask this question of representatives. Why do they feel that this will increase cases of rape? And Ashish Shelar also goes on to say this will create more pressure on the policing system. Some of the points that are, or the concerns that are being raised uh, are to some extent valid, but obviously they can be discussed. But to reject the idea outright, does it make sense? Let's quickly put this to discussion. Asif Bamla uh, is a political analyst. Uh, he is with us. Niranjan Shetty is a hotelier. Varun Kheda, the owner of the Imperial Spice and Cafe in New Delhi, is also with us. And Shefali Gandhi is a co-owner of KOI Asian Dining in Goa. Thank you so much, all of you all, for joining us. Let me first begin with you, Mr. Bamla. Uh, I believe that you feel that this is not right, this step. Why, I ask? 
No, I, uh, I'm here in my individual uh, capacity, obviously. So I personally, if you ask me, I'm, I'm pretty delighted and I welcome the move. Uh, I have no, uh, no reservations whatsoever. There are two aspects to it. The po let me uh, illustrate the positive sides. If, uh, uh, in fact, the people in the hospitality industry, if they would themselves want to grab a meal after 1.30, they could not get a chance in opportunity, which now I think uh, uh, they will uh, fairly get a chance. Then there were certain uh, people who would like to uh, or tourists who would like to have late night uh, meals that's after uh, one thirty, will at least get a chance to have a, a decent meal uh, uh, in, in a proper uh, uh, legally uh, authorized with all permissions placed other than going and having a meal at a shady corner which doesn't even have the legitimate licenses and so on the youngsters who feel like they would like to hit the gym at maybe uh, 2 in the morning uh, uh, but due to uh, you know the, the day long work stress they can even go and hit the gym and they could even uh, you know resort to all of that so these are the very positive I am uh, I would like to say that Mumbai has a very strong work ethic and it's it's a very progressive sure. city because again it's it's the commercial sure. uh, capital uh, of the country so I see that but then uh, again people who have illustrated like I was even going through <laughs> Ashish Shalar's uh, 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 points and I I, I, I do so uh, I mean in the interest of uh, executing this in entire thing there are certain aspects which as citizens and as Mumbaikers we need to certainly touch into because again the excise permissions are yet restricted to uh, uh, to 130 there's no there's been no uh, change on that so uh, yeah. having said that the commercial establishments should not uh, enter into residential area looking at the aspects of the senior okay, citizens now, fair and enough, so fair on enough. so even even fair, even fair that enough. is a, that is a matter of concern I mean if this is all no let me complete uh, let me complete yeah. If all this is sailing smooth, I do. I would not see anyone opposing uh, a, a, a thing like the. Now there is the car pass, uh, car parking issue, the noise pollution levels, etc. So if all this is very tactfully handled, and I will not even blame the government at the same, in the sense that they've done us, okay. they're doing a small mock trial. So let's be positive. Let's be progressive. Sure, absolutely. And let's I mean, see that's how it exactly goes what I'm further. Let's as a be Mumbai positive. Sir, I, 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 I support this and Niranjan, I'm, uh, I'm for Shetty. it if you ask me. Niran, Niranjan Shetty, uh, you have got uh, uh, Mr. Ashish Shelar who says nightlife will kill life in Mumbai. Mumbai is in any case known as a city that never goes off to sleep. So I don't know how it is going to kill Mumbai. Uh, so I would like to uh, have your opinion on that. And then this statement by Mr. Raj Purohit who says this will increase cases <coughs> of rape. You see, as far as uh, this 24 by 7 issue is concerned, I as a hotelier and the vice president of the Indian Hotel and Restaurant Association were part of the delegation or the deliberation that was held in the Sayadri guest house by the Honorable Tourism Minister, Mr. Aditya Thakre, as well as the uh, Municipal Commissioner and the uh, Commissioner of Police, Mr. Sanjay Barwe. So, we lot of things were discussed and as you rightly mentioned that uh, this is not uh, necessary that, you know, uh, it's a mandatory, like, you know, anybody can have their own, uh, you know, they are at their dispensable, they can keep it for 24 hours or they can keep for 22 no, hours. While, I, while, I, 20 hours while I understand all this nuance, I just want to know how would you respond to uh, criticism? See, th there are, as Mr. Bamla said, uh, I think, how, I think how to make this work I, that, how to make this work and constructive criticism understandable but to give out statements saying that the future of I youth think, will be affected as this is not Indian culture and the nightlife will kill life in Mumbai and one leader saying this will increase cases of rape how does this work see I think there is little bit of misconceptions or you know basically when it uh, if you say even the media or others, I have already been, uh, you know, publishing that it is only the restaurants that is going to benefit. It's not so. Uh, even the retail outlets or any kind of outlets, all kind of establishments are allowed in this uh, <coughs> 24 by 7. So, actually, there is a misconception. And secondly, about that, you know, the liquor bar, the bars and permit rooms will be open. I think that itself is, I think, wrong message has gone. So, I think the government needs to inform... Uh, you know about okay. the uh, what exactly is going to happen. So as sure. far as we were concerned, we were part of the delegation. The union, the, the tourism minister has categorically mentioned that anybody who violates or uh, you know uh, opens the bar after 1:30 p.m. 
then his license not only of eating house will be cancelled, but as well as the uh, liquor permit room also will be cancelled. Sure, but I still don't get a response from either Mr. Bamla or from Mr. Niranjan Shetty on uh, the criticism that this the future will be affected, nightlife will kill life in Mumbai and will increase cases of rape. I can understand when Mr. Shelar says this will create more pressure on the police. I'm sure that system needs to be worked out. Uh, I'm sure the government also must be cognizant of this. But apart from that, there are some comments that seem to be restrictive in nature. Varun Kheda, you know, this is a model that Mumbai wants to press forward, right? Do you think that there is half a chance of this being replicated elsewhere? Well, I feel Delhi is on the cards uh, with Arjun Kejriwal actually taking it uh, in his uh, bird bureau in the manifesto where he says that he's going to make the markets 24-7. Mm -hmm. uh, I We are quite positive, uh, the NRI is quite positive in this way where uh, we have actually won it in Bombay, in Mumbai and if it can be replicated in Delhi, it will be a fabulous welcome <laughs> because it's going to increase the economy, it's going to increase the taxation uh, collection for the government plus there will be more employment for people, people will have a chance. See, I hope you realize in, in, in Delhi, this concern will be peculiar because uh, as far as Mumbai is concerned, it is the capital of Maharashtra, the policing reports to the state government. Uh, here you've got various agencies, the MCD or the municipal corporation reports to someone else. The Delhi police Correct. reports to someone else. This decision will Correct. be taken by the state government. Correct. So while Maharashtra is easy sailing, in Delhi this is going to be a very, 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 very complex problem. See, I, I agree, but I feel if all the agencies come together and understand, uh, you know, we need to realize that today, in today's world, from a global economy, we need to be a turnaround economy. Uh, it has to be a round-the-clock economy everywhere. Mm -hmm. And if you're getting a chance, if one city has been able to launch it, and if it's become a successful model, then I feel if it can be replicated throughout India, it will be a fabulous chance because, uh, you know, having 12 more hours of operations can really do wonders to a country mm. and it's going to give a fabulous way where people will be very happy the tourists will be very happy because mm. it gives a, a positive light towards the whole business around mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay shefali shefali would you like to weigh in yeah what is your opinion so i actually feel all across most countries international countries we have something called a nightmare which is in london berlin amsterdam New York, Tokyo, all these places. These nightmares are actually appointed by the government to make sure that safety as well as people have a good time. And they are in touch with the police and everyone. Interesting. They are responsible for it. So mm -hmm. if this concept can actually work when Aditya Thakre says that, yes, the London nightlife economy did take a did take a five billion pound uh, profit. He's mm. absolutely right. And this happens because of these nightmares who have been taken in by the government. They are employed by the government. They're these young, spontaneous people who work with the law, for the law, at the same time, have, you know, give safety, but let make sure that people have a great time. So why not? Why can't India go to that level as well? Okay, okay. So, do you, do you think that should be, before a, a project like this uh, is initiated, Mr. Niranjan Shetty, do you think that proposal should be on the mind of, uh, of an Aditya Thakre or the Maharashtra government? That you have a separate force that yeah, ensures absolutely. safety, security, and then these concerns will be over. What is the main concern in the dead of the night? Yeah, safety. Absolutely. I, I, absolutely. This was the concern that we had raised before the Honorable Tourism Minister there were certain issues which we mentioned and out of this one was also been highlighted to the Honorable Tourism Minister, you know, basically. So I think, yes, of course, uh, because uh, though he has mentioned that uh, the private security guards or, uh, you know, and now since it's, it will be limited to a gated community, so basically, but what, where our demands was, uh, if you want the, your, the objective to be successful, then this should be implemented in the, for the common people, whereas uh, near the railway station or the ST bus depots, where people, common man, you know, uh, they alight, get, uh, they alight late in the night, we hours, you know, 
and there they there they can uh, the common man can have this kind of foodstuffs and all mr like mr asif bamla spoke correct okay mr bamla you think this is a good suggestion oh. a nightmare no, a separate team to ensure safety and security no, i've always sanket i've always mentioned that two aspects to any uh, Uh, any uh, any decision that the government takes and uh, i will not be negative per se because i mean of course uh, i myself am a mumbaiker i am a foodie my own self so i i i come from the genre of thought actually but maybe a lot of people may disagree with me like obviously there are certain negative points but the negative points are there to ensure that you have a better outcome and a larger outreach like i mean obviously uh, till now this act and this law has not been passed because uh, it had many shortcomings even which is why the mumbai police uh, in the last uh, uh, government did uh, did turn it uh, turn it off of course now the ability is good adit thakre is is a fa is a fabulous uh, uh, tourism minister i uh, I, i i certainly um, uh, accept the fact but then again there, as we discussed i mean uh, uh, this is not to oppose any government or an individual as a minister but there are certain points that needs to be well received no, no, what, like what points? Uh, i mean uh, what points well, let like, me attempt uh, once again uh, because you are not asking uh, answering my question uh, you are wriggling out see, of it but some of these you, concerns you, saying that the the night life will of, kill life no, in mumbai Mum let, let, and let this is not indian culture i don't think I, this I'm is a valid valid suggestion or a valid the crime concern crime of mumbai the crime of mumbai was uh, was linked to uh, bars and uh, it's uh, it, it 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 had been a security nightmare we have seen that but as i said ke we can't jump to that conclusion now because no, because when, the uh, government is uh, saying uh, that as far we, as bars but, but, are concerned nothing changes no no exactly so I, i that's exactly what i'm saying there are two aspects to it now similarly there's a very positive statement like the uh, the other uh, sp uh, spokesperson mentioned here that that london uh, has a uh, 5 billion pound a uh, nightlife economy so why can't we have so it'll create more general it'll be uh, there'll be more generation of jobs and uh, and of course now that, that now that we're looking at malls as we've done this a mock trial with malls having a, re a a proper infrastructure already i think this is personally a welcome move rather than take it on negative because again sure. the malls have their own I like the positive they have their own security uh, yeah let's not be yeah. negative sure. i mean varun uh, varun varun uh, kheda very quickly uh, uh, varun as well lines, as i would like yes, to yes. personally uh, see this in a progressive and a positive oh way. that's that's very nice to hear varun kheda Great. and then shefali final comments please varun. sure varun yeah sanket i feel after hearing uh, see uh, politics will happen people will have their own views culture doesn't come in here culture has become very convenient and it is based on convenience if it if it uh, is fine for me culture will be okay but if it's not fine to me culture will not be okay so let's mm. not get the culture a bit into bit in here what i feel is that we need to understand the economy is uh, going through a little doldrums right now and if there's given a chance where we can increase you know we can increase the revenues for any business it'll be it'll be very nice because all in all uh, the whole sentiment of uh, the common man today or the business people or the trader has got down with the current government and if given a sure. choice uh, or or if there is a possibility of you know really increasing the economy in any way sure. uh, i sure. feel it's it's going to be a fabulous way okay final word shifali you know shifali these rules existed for a reason for safety security uh, the, these rules where shops were supposed to shut in the night existed for a reason where was the safety do you think they need to be revisited of course whatever I mean, happens to those was, concerns honestly i mean if you have a crime a crime can also happen at 2 o'clock in the afternoon so where is the safety the authorities have to be responsible for the safety very right it sir. just mm. has to be that way we cannot take an escapist attitude and say you know what it's happening because of this no it's not a crime can also happen at 10 am okay correct to justify that correct absolutely agree so asif bamla niranjan shetty varun kheda as well as shifali many thanks for joining us